Patrick here, head of legal at Trust and Will. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps of writing your own will. A will is a part of estate planning, which is one of the most important things you'll do in life. An estate plan is designed to protect you, your family, and the legacy that you've worked so hard to build. However, a lot of people don't get around to creating their estate plan because they feel overwhelmed. Don't worry, I've got you. It helps to break it down into steps, and a great first step is creating your will. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to create a will. Then I'm gonna spend some time discussing how not all wills are created equally and how it's important to work with a legitimate source. You might be relieved to hear that creating your own will is pretty simple. There are some things that you'll need to do that will take some time and care, but at the end of the day, you just need to follow some basic steps. The end product should be a will that covers the bases so that your estate and loved ones are protected. All right, let's get started. The first step is to create the document or start the template that you'll be building upon. If you're using a platform such as the one we provide, you'll simply start by selecting the product you're building, which is a will. Next, you'll wanna name your executor and beneficiaries. This is an important step because you're naming the key players in your estate plan. The executor is the person who will be responsible for settling your estate and making sure your wishes are honored. Obviously, you wanna choose someone that you trust. Your beneficiaries are those who will be on the receiving end when your estate is divided up. In other words, they are your heirs and other loved ones you want property to go to when you pass away. You can skip the third step if you don't have any children or pets, but if you do, this is the part where you name a guardian who will step in and care for your dependents in the case that you pass away. This is such an important role, so you'll want to take time to identify the person who is best suited for the caretaker role. Step four, organize your assets. In this step, you'll want to carefully take inventory of all of your assets and property. Although this can feel tedious, it's nonetheless important. By listing out your assets accurately and in an organized way, you'll make life so much easier for your executor and your loved ones. Assets are anything that you own that can be passed down, such as property, money, personal belongings, digital files, and investments. Now that you have a bird's eye view of every asset and property in your name, you'll need to decide how you want your assets distributed. For example, maybe you want your primary residence to go to your daughter. Perhaps you want your extensive record collection to go to your nephew and your investments to go to your son. This is all up for you to decide. At this point, you'll be ready to update your will with all of the information you've laid out. Again, that's naming your executor and beneficiaries, nominating guardians, and listing out all of your assets and how you want them distributed. We recommend providing as many details as possible to help prevent any confusion or miscommunications in the future. Now it's time to sign your will into effect, which is step number five. Now every state requires that you sign your will in front of witnesses, but they have different requirements. Find out how many witnesses your state requires and whether or not your will also has to be notarized. Next, you'll need to find a safe place to store your will. You might keep a digital copy in a secure place online, such as a digital vault, but most states still require hard copies with original wet signatures. These hard copies can be stored in a fireproof safe or a safety deposit box. Whatever you do, make sure that your executor and trustworthy family members know where your will is located and how to access it. Your efforts to create a will may be wasted if you pass away and no one knew that you had a will or didn't know where to find it. We finally arrived at the seventh and final step, which is updating your will. You see major life events like birth, marriage, divorce, or even buying a house can and will affect your estate plan. We view these events as triggers to review your estate plan. Your asset structure and your beneficiaries as well as your relationships with those beneficiaries will change throughout your life. That's why you should be careful to review and update your estate plan every few years. All right, that wraps up our seven steps to creating your own will. I hope you see that creating a will is not all that complicated. The hardest part is making those important decisions that determine how you want your estate handled. Now I wanna answer some final questions about creating your own DIY will. The first is, can you write a will without a lawyer? The simple answer is yes. You can absolutely write a will without a lawyer. However, 
You want to make sure that you write a will in a way that is compliant with your state's estate planning law and requirements. That's why many individuals choose to work with a lawyer or even use a template. And this leads me to the second question. Are online wills legitimate? When someone chooses not to work with a lawyer to write their will, they often turn to the internet. There are downloadable templates and DIY kits that you can find, but this is where you want to be very careful. Not all wills are created equally, and you want to protect yourself and make sure you're using a product or service that's trustworthy. For example, we at Trust & Will are an estate planning platform that helps you create your own will online. However, we set ourselves apart because we have legal experts on our team. Our members have peace of mind knowing that by using our platform, they are creating estate planning documents like wills and trusts that are valid and legal in their state. That just about does it. If you don't have a will yet, I hope you learn that it isn't as scary as most people think. It just takes some preparation and decision making, but the process itself is not difficult at all. If you want to learn more about wills, I'll leave a link to our guide in the video description below. So what did you think about creating your own will? Was it harder or easier than you thought it was? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. If this video was helpful, please like and share it with your friends and family. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. For more information on creating a will, visit our website at trustandwill.com.